listening to the Pharmacy Podcast Network. Welcome back to Pharmacist Diaries, and this is episode six, our last episode in this series on the life of an entrepreneur. I am joined by Yasser Sakrani, who is the CEO of Microfarm, a specialist hospital pharmacist and a university lecturer. So today we are looking at the future of our brands. Here we are, last episode, (laughs) Um, but really excited to look at the future and I guess what we're both aiming to achieve with our brands. Um, I have... I journal a lot about what the future is going to look like and what my goals are within kind of the short term and the longer term. And we've looked at incorporating, and I've talked about this on the podcast, is that I talk a lot about health and well-being, productivity, increasing your energy um, in order to be a better version of yourself and a better professional. Because if you look after your sleep, your nutrition, your physical activity, you know, your movement, your mindfulness, um, because I do a lot of yoga and meditation, that you become so much more powerful as a person, as a human. And when you're more powerful in terms of your energy and your productivity and managing your time, you are so much more successful in your personal life and within your career. And I've always said that I wanted to put more of this content into Pharmacist Diaries and into the podcast and create my own videos around these topics. However, Sanjay and I have kind of reflected on this journey and we thought if we just start bringing out videos on me doing yoga or me meditating or me scheduling my time for work, does it really align with the Pharmacist Diaries brand? Like, do will people care that I'm doing some cool yoga poses? And I just thought when I bring in my and my family life again I wanted to bring parts of my family life into the podcast but because I've created such a niche kind of area of expertise which is basically pharmacy careers I then realized that it was a little bit weird to start bringing in like too much of my like family content and my kids having fun and how we manage our menu for the week and how we do physical activity and engage like our our children and becoming more um, kind of uh, physically active and encouraging, encouraging them to be in nature. Lily's listening to kind of mindfulness um, videos and kind of doing her meditation in the evenings. She's doing affirmations now for positivity. And I want people to see that I'm teaching my family and my kids to become better versions of themselves, but it just doesn't quite align with the podcast. So Sanjay and I have decided to create a separate uh, YouTube channel and separate social media channels for all of that content. So I don't lose followers who are like super just tuned in on pharmacy careers. But for people who really care about me, my personal life, my family life, my productivity, my time management, my health and well-being... And also how Sanjay and I are developing this business and this brand and our whole entrepreneurial journey. We're just going to put that onto a separate channel, separate channel. So if you want and if you're interested in knowing about me as a person, then you've got a platform to kind of see that. Um, and part of that was also where do we put our masterclasses and also our podcast uh, creation course. So if I ha- create a digital digital course about creating your own podcast. If I put it onto the Pharmacist Diaries brand, I'm only really catering to the pharmacy population, right? So it's it's a little bit too tight. There aren't too many pharmacists or pharmacy students who want to go into this space and I need to kind of like widen my network. So this is also where our reflective kind of journeys have come and the journaling and looking at ideas and what are other people doing, the market research, listening to podcasts about this topic that we've identified that actually we need to kind of segregate um, into two different brands, um, which we will be doing over the next couple of months, which I'm really excited about. Um, Now that I've quit my job and I finish at the end of October. I'm going full in on creating this digital course with Sanjay, which we are so excited about in November. We'll also be um, creating other content with regards to health and well-being and the family life um, on our social media channels and our new YouTube channel. So watch this space for that. So I'm really, really excited. Um, Other things that are kind of happening with the podcast in terms of future developments is partnerships. So people will have seen and maybe if you want to check my website you'll notice that I've partnered up with uh, FIP I've also become a member of the pharmacy podcast network so now I've got um, a network of over you know 
one million episodes per month in terms of downloads that this network is providing. And that audience will hopefully now see my podcast episodes. So in terms of my global reach and my global audience, we're going to see some growth and some excitement, but also it increases my network. I'm going to enjoy communicating with pharmacists across the globe. And also I'll be going on so many other podcasts and telling my story, which I'm really excited about. So that's kind of where Pharmacist Diaries is looking. Uh, we have a uh, podcast masterclass that comes out every month or every couple of months. So check out my website for free masterclasses. And like you said, it's good to provide free content. And I wanted to raise this in the last episode um, and forgot. But the reason why we're leaving it free well, there are a few reasons. Um, but the reason why we are leaving it free is because the people who join that masterclass are giving us feedback on the type of content that we need to create with our course. I'm also looking at what problems are people having with content creation that I can solve on my course. So it's really valuable like that you're having new people join your network, um, new people that you can connect with and support in terms of their growth in the entrepreneurial journey. Um, but it also gives you kind of information as to what problems that you need to solve for your community and how you can help them to kind of grow. So I guess share a little bit about what mi what Microfarm is um, going to look like. You know, what are your goals for the next, I guess, short term goals um, before the end of 2023? And what's your vision for the future? Hey, guys, before we get into this week's episode, I really want to remind you about the discount code that I have for the naked As my listeners or viewers of the podcast, you'll receive a 20 percent discount using the code PD20. Both myself, my husband, and my children are using the products and we're absolutely loving them. I really want to advocate for this brand because number one, it's owned and created by a pharmacist, Kevin Levers. He has over 35 years of experience working in the industry of natural medicines and has created his own company and provided us with so many different products to support our needs. For me personally, I absolutely love their gut health products, the magnesium for my sleep and Safrasun energy because as a mum of two very young children working full time and juggling the day-to-day -day life that I have I really need that extra support to keep me energized and going throughout the day. I also wanted to let you know that if you're not sure where to start with your supplement regime Kevin has a team of multiple pharmacists that you can either contact by phone email or on social media to get some support on where to get started. Check out their website thenakedpharmacy.com. Now let's get back to the episode. Absolutely. So I have a few short term goals. I have a few long term goals. My short term goals, um, I mentioned in earlier episodes, we're launching a new product. Um, there's two products that we're launching. Uh, we're launching uh, Pro Plus, our membership, which I'll speak more about. Um, and we're also launching Pro Plus with some level of mentorship. And the reason why I believe that's really important is Quite often, we're asked the question of, do you provide one-to-one -one support? And that's something that we haven't offered uh, for a very long time. The reason why it's very difficult to offer one-to-one -one support is time. Um, so we know that the majority of people will go for the Pro Plus membership. And the beauty of the Pro Plus membership and the Pro Plus membership with mentorship if you do not pass the assessment, you get your money back. So this, I believe this promise is extremely important to students that are investing their hard earned money for some support. What we're going to do very differently in terms of the support we provide when we're mentoring students is we're going to plan a study schedule uh, for the next year before their June registration assessment. And we're going to check in monthly to see how they're getting on. Um, and at the same time, I really want students to implement study, evidence based study techniques. And I spoke about this. In fact, one of my largest courses when I started was an evidence evidence based study technique course. And it was a free course for uh, students. And I spoke about why a lot of students spend a lot of time on study methods that don't actually work 
they work, but they're low utility. So what that means is you're going to spend a lot more time if you're highlighting, rereading or note taking on your study, on your studies and studying for the GPHC registration ass assessment compared to other, other study methods that are out there. So really from that support that we provide, we want to have students that transition from using study methods that are of low utility to study methods that are of high utility. We want students to spend less time studying and having more effective study methods and also grading how well their studies are going in different therapeutic areas and seeing what we need to focus on each month. So this is the first time that we're going to offer something like this. I'm really excited for that. And that's my plan for 2023. Long term, my vision is to really build on the content creation side of things. Um, so as well as the microfarm business, and that's the trainee pharmacist education that we provide, I think there's a lot of value that we can provide as pharmacists being content creators. So yes, we have trainee pharmacists that love the content, but we also have a lot of patients that say, I now understand my condition or my medication a lot better because of the content that you produce. And I want to do that at scale. And essentially what many content creators want to do is they want some level of monetization from these social media platforms so that all of that content is free for the patient. It's free for the person that's using their content and watching their content on platforms like YouTube. And that's something that I really want to develop on um, at this current moment. Everything that I produce on YouTube is actually for free. Um, it's not monetizing at the moment because there isn't enough uh, watch hours on my account to be at a monetization stage. And that's because I focus so much on the business that the content creation side, I can really develop that. So my long-term aims is to develop content creation that's so useful for patients that's always free. Um, so that's where I see myself going with regards to microfarm. And I think one of the main things is both of us will admit we don't have everything figured out. We kind of f see things on the go. If someone said to me, what, where do you want to be in 10 years time? I, I don't have that figured out. Um, I, I don't know where my full-time career goes and where my content creation side goes, but I do have some tangible goals in the short term that I know whichever avenue I take, I'll be fine. Yeah, this is, it's amazing how different we are in terms of businesses, but in terms of the ideas and the goals that we want to achieve, we have some similarities. And you can see now that Microfarm is still going to continue and flourish and get bigger and better as time goes on, which is amazing. And I'm so happy to see that you you love teaching and educating pharmacy students and trainee pharmacists, and you want to see them smash that exam and do really well and pass. And that is, you know, your, your mission effectively. And you've seen that the content that you're providing is really, really good, but you're fine tuning it and you're finding ways to perfect it now. And you're at that place where you've got the headspace because all of this journey was building content, like how do you create the website? How do you take payments? How do you deal with a business and how do you pay people um, as part of your business? What what kind of things can you put onto the business so that you don't get taxed or, you know, all of these things that you just don't know and you learn along the way? There has been a huge learning curve, but now you've probably understood a lot of those kind of basic elements that now you can fine tune what you're providing and really create incredible content for the next generation of pharmacists. And I love that. But on the side of that, other opportunities have come your way. YouTube, for example, has been a massive, massive kind of opportunity that has given you some idea for thought or thought for idea, idea for thought. <laughs> um, but it's allowed you to kind of see, okay, well, pharmacy students and trainees are not the only people that I want to serve as part of my community, I want to grow and develop pharmacy content that relates really specifically to patients. And you probably wouldn't have known that until you created content on your social media, which patients were reading or listening or watching. 
And suddenly you're like, okay, actually, these videos are really useful for other people. And in, until you have that kind of regular content going out, you don't get that feedback mechanism. And a lot of the time in your entrepreneurial journey, you learn along the way because actually the content you create and the analytics behind that content, the feedback that you get, the comments you receive, the testimonials you have from your course, the new uh, kind of connections and network that you build, the new opportunities that you come your way, give you ideas to then build on other avenues. So I'm excited to see that you're kind of splitting yourself into two, even though you're already split in two from a pharmacist point of view, you're now splitting yourself into two from an entre entrepreneurial point of view. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing where that comes. So that kind of ties up the six episodes that we've created for this entrepreneurial series. I really hope that you gained a lot of value from the conversation that we've had. Do feedback to us and let us know of any ideas that you have, any content that you're creating, any problems you need us to help you to solve. Um, we are here to um, help you to grow and we are here, both of us, to build a community and support each other. So um, thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.